What's going on, everybody? This is Daxon here with Noxide.org and Weaver Family Farms. Um, everyone else is out there doing their predictions of what they think's going on, so I figured the heck with it. Might as well do mine. Um, I'm no uh, market expert or trading expert or Bitcoin expert or anything like that. Uh, just a normal person, a uh, normal guy wanting to get my thoughts out there and maybe get some comments below this video of what uh, everyone else's thoughts are, where you think it's going to go. I've seen um, these so-called experts um, predicting Bitcoin to be anywhere between $7,000 and $150,000 by January 1st, 2019, which is now um, just about you know three and a half months away. I'm going to get out my line tool. I'm going to try to make this as simple as I can to see kind of what's in my head. Um, cause we can see right here where my, where my mouse is. Let's see. Um, we was right around the forty four, forty five hundred dollar mark a year ago today. Today is September 9, 2018. Um, now what we can see is it done this. Let me, grab my, let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe if I can here, I haven't really used trading view for a while. So there's our line. I'm gonna take it, and then you can see it's shot up. Okay. Here, then we pretty much had a pretty bearish year this whole year. Kind of went pretty much almost straight down if you look at it zoomed out like this. And then it kind of started slowing down just a little bit. Like that. And then where I feel we are about right now is kind of at the bottom. You know, between, you know, that five and $6,000 mark um, is, you know, kind of the bottom. And what is going on here? Are you kidding me? If you want me to sign in. I ain't got time for that. Trying to do a video. I had to pause and restart and do the lines again, but that's okay. I was able to do the lines black, so they are able to be uh, seen better. Okay, so now for my silly prediction. Could come true, could not, who knows. I see it doing something similar again here within about the next month. Even though the timing on this, I guess it would be kind of close. Maybe not quite. Because um, this would be, yeah, I guess right about December 1st. Um, and then we would get our really sharp climb. Like this, right around the beginning of January, All right, something like that. So I would see this would be our new high point. You know, uh, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six thousand dollars is my guess. Um, I see it dropping right back down. You know, pretty sharp. Right around, you know, the sixteen to eighteen thousand dollar mark. I'm gonna go with eighteen thousand because that's what I really, you know, that's really my gut feeling. Um, and it could be higher um, based upon how high Bitcoin goes. I think it's we're probably gonna at least hit twenty thousand um, right around the end of the year, at least. Um, but we'll see. Kind of have um, this going on, kind of like last time. Kind of see what I'm seeing here. Um, like this, and that puts our bottom, like I said, you know, right around, you know, seventeen to eighteen thousand dollars, something like that. And then I kind of see, you know, after the first year, I see it kind of declining, and our bottom we're talking about, you know, would be pretty much, you know, we'd have a bearish trend, you know, twenty nineteen the start, you know, throughout the year. This puts us now, you know, this is July, so my lines are probably a little bit shorter. Yeah, I guess they are compared to last year. Let me, I don't think it'll let me back up actually at all. Let me change the color so I can just continue easier. Oops. Okay, let me get this, go to red. So really, it would be more... I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out exactly how I had it in my head. And then have a really long line right here. So this puts us closer to August when we're dipping down. 
something like that. <clears throat> Hitting our bottoms. And then when the time comes next year, and it's not wanting me to do that because I'm too close. And you kind of get my point here of just what I'm thinking. Who knows what's going to happen? You know, all this stuff's really unpredictable, to be honest. Um, but then I see, you know, by the end of next year, you know, here we are again. You know, November or October, it starts climbing, climbing, climbing. And then towards, you know, December or so, kind of like last year and what I think it'll do this year. Here we go again, you know, just like that. And I think this is what Bitcoin's probably going to continue to do based upon the history of what, you know, kind of what Bitcoin has done. If we zoom out, you can kind of see why I see this. Now, that's not including all the past of Bitcoin before it actually started gaining a lot more traction. And I think we'll start moving a lot quicker and faster the more people that start getting a Bitcoin. You know, big stores, um, say, start taking Bitcoin as payments. I, th I see this going way faster and Bitcoin going a lot higher. I think we're going to continue till we kind of hit that pink point, you know, $500,000 or more per Bitcoin eventually. But um, like this video, if you think um, I'm not totally crazy, <laughs> um, no biggie though. Subscribe if you want to see all my other videos. I do all kinds of videos. Definitely comment um, your predictions, what you think's going on. You know, everyone has the right to their own opinion and their own predictions of this, even though none of us know exactly what's going to happen. But I always want to hear everyone else's feedback. Um, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck to you all with Bitcoin. I definitely, um, you know, every $10, $20 I get that I have extra that ain't going towards bills, I'm buying more Bitcoin. Um, I just have about a little over 10% of a Bitcoin right now. At one point in time, I had many Bitcoins back when it was worth just like, you know, $200 a piece. I wish so bad I still had all them, but I ended up selling them, you know, and I needed some money for bills before any of this cool stuff right here started happening. So, uh, but always, uh, you know, invest at your own risk. You know, it could go to zero. You could lose all your money. I really doubt that's going to happen, but, you know, I don't know everything. And no one does, uh, especially when it comes to Bitcoin, so... But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. Bye-bye.